Hi everybody, welcome back to Phantom Pains by Joma Souza. I'm Joma Souza and today I want to show you this pen. This is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Oversize. This is a magnificent pen that I bought in Doha in Qatar, if I'm not wrong, in 2016. It was a pen that I, I had been seeing on the internet in lots of reviews and uh, what got my attention on this pen was the material. is Vulcano Lava. Okay, so that is a pretty beautiful pen. I think that uh, the nib was changed recently by Visconti, so this one has a palladium pen. And simple, it's an amazing pen. It's an amazing pen. Okay, it's a very robust pen, well made, uh, good quality control. I have no issues with this pen since I bought it in 2016. Okay. So, some aspects about the pen. So, here, in the top of the cap, there is the Visconti logo in a golden uh, round figure. Okay. This can be removed. This is magnetic, can be removed, and you can replace that one by almost anything that you want, like your initials, you can ask Visconti or a uh, retailer uh, to change this one for you, okay? You can place it here, a kind of uh, semi-precious or precious stone, whatever you want. The clip, it's a pretty nice clip. It resembles the Ponte Vecchio in Florence, in uh, Italy. In Italian, it's called Firenze, if I'm not wrong. And the clip is this way, so it's pretty easy to place this pen on your pocket, in your shirt, okay? So, here we have two bronze rings in the cap, a central band that says Homo sapiens, also in bronze, and here on the blind cap there is another bronze ring. You can note that uh, the material looks with lots of poros, small poros there, yeah. So the Visconti says that this material is hygotropic, if I'm not wrong, I think so is that the name. That means that this material can absorb some moisture or uh, even some uh, humidity. So, for someone that has uh, sweat hands, it's a good pain to have it because the pain usually uh, won't sleep far from the user's hand. Okay? So, to remove the cap, it's it's, it's very interesting mechanism. It's not a snap cap. It's not a uh, screw cap, okay? You just pressure, you just push the cap against the paint barrel. Can you see that small movement? You turn the barrel and you remove the paint from the cap, okay? So you can note that, that there are some uh, a different kind of uh, threads, okay? Just see here, you can see that, okay? And I'm not sure if I can show you inside the cap, but uh, there is some points here. Let me try to point out with the, the point of the nib. There are some, uh, some small pieces inside here that uh, will fit exactly these threads here. So, to close the pen, it's very easy. You just uh, to push the pen against the cap, okay, find out when they are connected, so once they're connected, you just push and turn, so the cap, it securely 
fix it there, okay? Inside the cap, there is nothing else interesting, okay? And uh, here is the grip section. It's the same material than the barrel and then the cap, okay? Uh, for some people, this can be annoying because of the threads here and the small step that there is here. But uh, for me, there is no issue using this pen, even for long hours. The nib it's, for this specific one is a medium nib, okay? It's a palladium or palladium nib, 23K. Uh, it's a precious material, but I don't know why Visconti is not producing Homo sapiens with this kind of pen anymore. The, uh, the paint, the current, uh, uh, the currently nibs now are gold nibs. Okay, I think that this pen comes in fine, medium, broad, and if I'm not wrong, italic 1.1 or stub. The feed, there is nothing special with the feed. I don't think that this is ebonite. For me, this is a kind of plastic, but that works pretty well, okay? And the filling mechanism, it's a vacuum filler, so that means that you need to turn the blind cap, unscrew the blind cap, okay? And you will pull all the piston to that way, and place the nib in the feed inside the ink vial and you will push down the piston. So this will create a vacuum inside the pen and will pull the ink inside uh, of the pen. Unfortunately, this model has no ink window uh, there are some uh, new Homo sapiens models that comes with a, a window, but uh, honestly, for me, it's not an issue because this pen uh, has a very, very huge capacity. I can write for days without the need to uh, refill the pen. Okay, so let me screw this back and the cap as well. So uh, I will show you a right sample, okay? And I will be back in one minute. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's do a right sample with Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age Oversize. It's a big name for a pen, huh? Even for a big pen. Okay, so let me find out a good place to do that. Here we go. Ah! Let me show you a comparison regarding the size. Okay, so we have here a Jinhao X450. That is a big pain, a big in the half pain. So the Homo sapiens is a little bit longer. Okay a little bit larger and let's take a look and cap it both so let me remove this notebook from here and let me try to show you side by side okay so you can see that the homo sapiens is longer than the Jinhao X 450 okay some people asked me about if it's possible to post the homo sapiens cap yes it is but uh, it's not so secure so usually i don't use the paint posted but it's possible to post it here but you can see that it's a very very big pen yeah, so I don't like that one. Maybe if you have bigger hands than me, it's possible to write this way. By honestly, but honestly, I prefer to write down 
and post it this way, okay? So uh, let me show you a uh, right sample. So here we go. This is the Visconti. Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. Bronze Age over size. That is a smaller size. I don't remember exactly the name. Okay, with uh, for sure less uh, ink capacity, but also a nice paint to have. Okay, so uh, the nib is a. Palladium nib or palladium 23k medium and the ink that I'm using here is a Mont Blanc homage to Hadrian Rosso Antico Rosso is Italian for red and Antico is Italian for ancient if I'm not wrong okay I'm not a native English speaker nor a Italian speaker so Maybe the pronunciation is wrong. Okay, so sorry for that. And writing fast, no skips, pretty good. It's possible to write in any direction that you want. Okay, line variation, it's possible if you push a little bit the pain against the paper. So this is without pressure some pressure more pressure let me try and it's a very very wet pen so uh, you need to use a good paper to write down with this pen because it's very very wet okay so uh, choosing the paper the inky and the pen is crucial to enjoy your fountain pen, okay? And that uh, famous sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so that's it. An amazing pain, top of line pain. It's not a special uh, edition, okay? It's a normal, regular edition for uh, this pain, but it's uh, a top of line. It's the only uh, fountain pain top of line that I have it. It's the Homo sapiens. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave your comments below there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.